What's up guys, Hamnish here, and today we're going to be jumping in with a pretty exciting Destiny 2 video. So first up, we are going to talk about the Izanami Forge, how you can unlock the forge. I'll cover all of the quest steps and that good stuff inside of this video, as well as some of the weapon frames we can unlock this week. More importantly though, or perhaps more excitingly, Limonarch is now dropping in the game. Of course, Limonarch is the new exotic bow inside of Black Armory. So we're going to take a look at the bow. I'll break down how you can get it, how you can get the new quest for Izanami, like I said. So if you guys do enjoy this video, a rating is very much appreciated below. But for now, let's jump into it. So we're going to jump in and talk about the Le Monarch exotic bow inside of Black Armory, guys. I have to say a huge thanks to Fellerock for letting me jump on his account to try this weapon out. We will talk a little bit about the weapon in just a moment, but how do you actually obtain Le Monarch? Well, from what we can tell, it is a completely random drop inside of Lost Forges. So initially, some folks were reporting actually getting it dropped while they were holding on to older weapon frames from last week. But I've since seen folks getting it dropped in the new forge, the Izanami forge, while working on current weapon frames. So it appears that the drop for this is completely random, but it does appear that the Gofanon forge on Nessus, as well as Izanami forge on Nessus, are the two places currently dropping the Monarch. So if you do decide to jump in and grind, then I wish you the best of luck. I've run a few today and I haven't managed to find there, but I'm seeing more and more people who've managed to get this bow. So of course, let's talk a little bit about the weapon. This is a new bow. And it comes with the bonus Poison Arrows. Arrows fired quickly after a full draw become Poison Arrows, and precision hits with Poison Arrows will spread poison to nearby enemies. So essentially, you have to kind of get the bow, draw it, and then fire the round almost immediately after you've actually hit full draw in order to get those Poison Rounds to fire. So essentially, you have to take the target, draw, and fire very quickly, and you will get that poison effect on enemies, and it's particularly good on anything that's especially tanky. So major enemies inside of the forges or strikes in PvE stuff in general, you'll notice that AoE from the poison and damage and it will take enemies down and kill them and it does extend to very nearby enemies as well inside of pvp depending on your range you'll see around about 140 150 critical damage so this actually does quite a bit more damage than most other bows and it is possible to get tick damage kills with this weapon you won't reliably one shot people if you get this perfect shot but if you hit a weak target even with half a shield missing you can get a kill in pvp with one shot so it's definitely a very interesting weapon obviously i haven't spent the most time with it i'm also playing on ps4 right here and i'm used to playing on xbox so the controller does feel a little bit uncomfortable and I'm even more of a potato than I normally am but nonetheless the bow does feel pretty good to use. It'll be interesting to see in the long term how it stacks up against some of the stuff like Tyranny of Heaven but I think this is definitely a contender for the best bow in the game and in particular potentially the best exotic bow because of its flexibility between PvE and PvP it's pretty good in most content. But in terms of other bonuses, it also comes with Natural String, Compact Arrow Shaft, and it's got Snapshot Sights, which of course synergizes a little bit with that requirement to draw the bow and immediately fire. Definitely helps with target acquisition just a little bit. So all in all, I think it's a pretty cool bow. And like I said, the Gofanon Forge, as well as Izanami, appear to be the places to currently get this dropped. Pretty bizarre because it does say it is a quest reward, although you do have to grind quite a bit to actually unlock these forges. And on that subject, let's speak about the Izanami Forge. So this can be unlocked this week, and Limonarch can drop inside of this forge as well. Seen a couple of reports of it happening. Now, if you want to get the quest for the Izan Army Forge, you'll need to make random kills on Vex, and it will be a random drop. You'll see it drop on the ground, a little triangle. You pick that up, and you'll have the quest. The first step is to defeat 100 Vex. You can very easily do this in the Artifacts Edge Loss sector on Nessus. You'll also need to do a Heroic Spire integration event in the Hallows specifically on Nessus. So you can see that on the map. The public event under the ground right here is the one that you need to do. After that, you'll need to kill 20 Minotaurs. This one can take a little while. You can spawn into Artifact's Edge and low down on the left hand side. You'll see a Minotaur that spawns there. You'll also find another one that spawns when you drop down into the Hallows right here. It is a bit of a grind, but you'll eventually get those kills and then you'll need to head back to Ada 1. She'll actually have a quest step on Nessus. There'll be a mission and stuff. Then you'll need to do Heroic Fallen Glimmer event. And you find these pretty commonly in the Tangle on Nessus. Of course, you can do them in EDZ. And you find them quite a lot there. You'll also need a Heroic Witches Ritual event. And these you'll find on Titan on the rig. And also on Mars on the south side of the map. You'll also need Heroic Spire integration. You can once again do that in the Hallows area. Or you can do it in Exodus Black. Then you'll need multiple fallen precision kills. That one's pretty self-explanatory. You'll also need to destroy blights in IO Lost Sectors. There is a Lost Sector next to Ashamir. You can jump in here. There's just one blight in here, but it takes about a minute to run through. So you can actually go through, grab it, respawn at Asha, and continue that process. There may be better Lost Sectors for that one. It doesn't take long either way. Then you'll need to do a quest mission on Nessus. It'll lead you back to the Volunda Forge. There's a step to complete a special version of the Insight Terminus Strike with Void Singe, Extinguish, and Grenadier. It also does lock your equipment, so bear that in mind. Then you'll need to reignite the Izanami Forge, so you'll head there in a mission. You can kill the boss, 
And at this point, you can return to Ada and she'll give you the frame for a bow. So then, of course, you'll need to get 25 Vex kills and grab a weapon core from a saboteur on Nessus, then 50 taking kills and 30 precision kills with a bow, 20 more to kills with a bow, and finally Radiant Seeds, as we've done many times, and you can farm these in the Northern Lost Sector on Mars. You'll get 10 every time that you kill the boss. Then you can go back to Ada, then you can actually go to the forge and forge the weapon. And this is where, of course, you'll get the bow from the quest. You also have a chance at the exotic as well. And then there is another frame for the pulse rifle. This one's pretty self-explanatory as well. Getting plenty of kills, multi-kills, radiant seeds once again. And the bow, of course, is the spiteful fang right here. I don't have the best bonuses necessarily. Of course, we can't see these bonuses in the database just yet. But the pulse rifle is the blast furnace. And this is an aggressive burst pulse rifle. I got it with quick draw and rampage. Once again, can't see all of the bonuses for this one just yet. But on top of these weapons, you have the chance at that exotic bow, which is definitely nice. While we were running the as an army forge, we actually got a bit of a strat where we'd have two players on the left and right on the bottom side, and they'd throw the orbs up to the middle, and then I was just clearing a few enemies and throwing the orbs into the middle of the forge. So I'll leave that gameplay to run out right here for a couple of moments, guys. But I hope this video has been useful for you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below about picking up the Monarch. Pretty interesting bow. Let me know your thoughts if you've used it as well. Definitely a grind to unlock the new forge on Nessus, but considering you do have chances at this exotic bow there as well, it definitely is worth it. If you've enjoyed the video though, guys, a like is very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe to see a lot more Destiny 2 content. But for now, I appreciate you tuning in and I'll catch you very soon. Yeah. 